Bolatinubu president-elect says he couldn't have won the presidential elections without the support of Yesom Wike, the governor of River State, on March the 1st. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, declared Tinubu as winner of the election with a total of 8,794,726 votes. Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party had the second highest figure with 6,984,520 votes while Peter Obi of the Labour Party was next with 6,101,533 votes. The two runners have since taken the matter to court, challenging the victory of the former Lagos governor through judicial measures, while their supporters engage in unending media throstle. Speaking at the commissioning of a flyover bridge in Port Harcourt, the capital of the state, Tinubu said the structural support given by Wiki played a significant role in his victory at the poll. It is an honor and privilege to be in your midst today. I am a very happy man. Happy because I went through a gruesome campaign, fought hard, beat myself, supported by many of you, and I won. Fair and square. I say thank you for your contribution to my future. I couldn't have done it without some structural support as not describable in a flyover. In His Excellency, I see a man of principle. He took a principled stand that the presidency must return to South. And he has the courage to stand by his convictions, not minding whose ox is God. He is indeed a man of great integrity. He did not choose to justice. Thank you. Earlier in his speech, River State Governor Yesam Wike drew the attention of the federal government to the need to amend its procurement law in order to end the incessant abandonment of projects that it handles. The River State Governor explained that the current procurement law of the federal government only allows for about 15 to 30 percent to be paid as mobilization fee to a contractor. If you need procurement law, it will take very, very long to complete projects because how much does the procurement law of stars one of the federal how much does it say 15 percent to 30 percent when you give a contract of 15 percent before you pay another money inflation is almost every day and then there will cause a variation because of high cost of building uh, material but in our own case according to the speaker i said listen we can continue with this we have to amend our own procurement law and give us the latitude where we can pay a company we know that has the capacity to deliver within time. Unfortunately, too, this project ought to be federal government project because our federal roads, since we have said, we don't want our people to suffer. I also believe federal government should say, look, you don't work for us. This is our project we should be doing. Can you bring your deal? Let us refund you the money you have done this week. That is what it's supposed to be with a partnership with a good federal government. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.